Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be covering case number 39 and 40 from the speed solving wiki. And that's when you have your edge piece that is in place and your corner piece is flipped. And you can this one's easy to recognize because you'll have a uh, on-off pattern. So you won't have the same color next to each other. They'll be alternating colors. And for this case, what we're going to do is we're going to look at where the white face is facing. And if it's towards you or away from you, we'll do one set of moves. And if it's to the right or the left, we'll do a different set of moves. So we've done cases like this in the past, and we'll do the same thing for this one. Let's get started. So when the white face is facing towards you or away from you, there's basically two things you can do. And it depends on if you want to make a pair or make an easy case. If you want to make a pair, what we'll do is we'll lift the slot up, we will remove the top face, and then when we lower the slot, we will make this case. And this case is easily too gentle, so a, a lot of times if it's an oriented case, which you can tell this is an oriented case, we're going to want to do this because then it's just a matter of solving this case. So again, if it's facing towards you, or away from you, this works from the back too, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring it into the top layer and split it up at the same time. And that's going to create this case. So when you're, when you're doing this, we would lift up, move the top face, lower, move the top face again, pair, insert. So it's regripless, it's rotationless, it works really well. Now that's if it is an oriented piece. The other way that you can do this case is if you pull this slot up, move it out of the way, and then lower without breaking it up, so you move it in the other U direction, then if you move the U face over again, assuming that this is your only open slot, then we can solve this case, which, if you know your cases, we can break this up with a U2, so lift your pair up, or lift your slot up, U2, lower your slot, and that creates the easy case. So you can insert it like that. So again, if you want to make the easy case, then what we're going to do is we're going to lift the pair out of the slot, move out of the way, and lower it, and then we're going to solve this case. And to make a pair, we would just pull it out, pair it up, insert it. And this works from the back as well. So if it's facing away from you, we can either break it up, and then we have this case, and this is our slot, so we know this one's empty. Or we can lift it up out of the slot, move it out of the way, lower it, and then solve for this case. So lift the slot up, U to it, and then now we have the easy case. So in when I'm looking at this, if it is an oriented pair, I will create the easy case. If it's a not oriented pair, I'll break it up like that and create my pair. And then you can insert it like that. So that is if the white face is facing towards you or away from you. When the white face is facing to the right or the left, what we're going to do is we can either create a pair or create an easy case again. And how we're going to do this is if you want to create the easy case, we're going to kick the pair out of the slot, leave them together, U2, and then you can solve this case by, because this is our empty slot, and now that's our easy case. So we can insert like that. So again, if you want to create the easy case, case number three, we will lift the pair up, move it out of the way, fix your cross, and then we will solve this case, and that's completely too gentle. Now, if it is in a non-oriented pair, then what I like to do is create a pair out of it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to... When we lift it up and split it up, we get this case, and it doesn't matter if this is oriented or not. If you know that this slot is empty, which we just kicked this pair out of this slot, so we know this slot is empty. So we're going to kick it out of the slot, and then we're going to solve this case as if it was an oriented case. So this is not oriented. Normally you would line it up like this and then lift the slot up and then U2 it over. Well, this is not oriented, but we're going to do that anyways. And, and the way we know that we can do that is every time you kick this out of the slot, if it's this case, 
when you kick it out and move it over one, it doesn't matter if this is lined up or not, we can use this slot to pair the, the piece up and then you would insert the pair wherever you need to. So it's easy for you to see this case, we can kick it out, we know it's going to be that case that we can create a pair out of and then you, you would insert wherever you need to at that point. So again, if you want to, this is an oriented version, so you kick it out and separate it and then this, in this case it matches up because it happens to be the oriented version so we can pair the, pair the case up and insert it. But if that wasn't the case, let's say it was over here, we're going to lift this slot up and then when we fix across to separate it. But we know this is our empty slot, we just pulled it out of here. So we, we don't care what's oriented or not oriented, we're just going to move this here, lift this empty slot up that we just created, pair, and then lower, and then now we have this a pair. So, you know, if it needs to go back here, you do that. So one more time, if the white face is facing to the right or the left, we can create the easy case by getting it out of the slot, U2, breaking it up and inserting it as an easy pair. Or we can create this case, which is 19, 20, 21, or 22, but we, we don't care what which one of those cases it is. We, we know if we have this case and we break it up like that, you will always be able to use this slot to pair it up. So we can move this, align this side with whatever's over here, pair it up, and then we can insert it wherever you need to. So I think this case is relatively easy overall if you have, it depends on what you want to do. If you need the easy case, then you can make the easy case. If you need the pair, then you can make a pair. So it depends on really you're looking at what your white piece is doing. And then if this is oriented, I personally like to have pairs. So I would make a pair out of this and insert it. If your white piece is facing you and this is an inserted piece, I would do that. The next cases we're going to handle is case number 41 and 42 from the speed swapping wiki. And this will be our last case that we will handle. If you have any questions or comments on the previous case, leave them in the comment section below. And until then, happy keeping.